Sean. I'm Abby. I'm Nate behind the camera. And we are the RC Sailors. Today I'm out here with the Hobby King Tundra to do my very first flight with it. Just the other day, Nate took it in the air for the maiden flight, so be sure to check that video out. And also, we'll have this linked in the description box below, so you can go check out all the stats on this plane, and if you're interested in buying it, you can purchase it at that link as well. We got the bind and fly version. We'll link our transmitter in the description box, and Abby, I just realized it matches you today. Go <laughs> All right, let's see what you can do with a five-channel plane. First five channel plane. Yeah? Ever. Nice. I think. That's exciting. <laughs> Alright, just so you guys know, Abby is at the controls here. Okay. And uh, there's the plane. So let's let's do this. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Oh. You got this. So it's, it's a great plane. Any advice? Uh, get it in the air. <laughs> Thanks. That's good advice. <laughs> I don't like it. It's so fast. Okay. Too fast. <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's a great plane. It's really not fast. Let's try that again. Take two. Abby, ready. Oh my you're fine, God. you're fine. <laughs> you do that so often. Okay. Oh, it's going up. Yeah, it's a plane. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It is in the air and you're doing wonderful. Now, usually Abby is the camera person, not me. You're already messing up. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just letting them know I might. <laughs> I, was a, I don't do very good at the camera. She's a better pilot than I am a camera person, that is for sure. Well, it sounds good, and it looks good. You got a little too much throttle if you don't want to climb. Yeah. Whoa, did you lose it? Sorry, I'm way <laughs> You're okay, I'm messing around with the settings, trying to make it look good for everybody. Yeah, the finally. Is going down just about. So I can see the screen finally, which helps a lot. It's a good approach. Thank you, sir. I screwed it up. It's the wind, it's a little gusty. A little bit of wind going. Coming from behind us. Abby, that is just such a good looking plane. Mm -hmm. Someone could make like a uh, commercial with that flyby. It's beautiful. <laughs> Looked like it should have been on TV. Oh, that's good. Beautiful sky today. You guys, this is the beginning of March in Kentucky and it is supposed to be like 30 something degrees or maybe a little cooler with snow on the ground but today we got to experience 65 degree weather and it was just awesome out today all day all day i think the only thing i don't like about this plane is the intricate landing gear oh i love and it and the pipe things that go from the body to the wing i think they're called wing struts okay uh or I just, supports maybe i just feel like it's more stuff to break you know <laughs> Well, those are there to enforce it, and the intricate landing gear that you say you don't like is actually a cushioning system. It's basically the same system as shocks in your car. This plane has shocks built in, so when you, you'll see when you land, I know. when but you touch just, down. Yeah, it's just more stuff to break. Well, that's one way to look at it, I but it's like also, about a lot of things, though. <laughs> it's preventing the breakage because it gives, and those bars on the wings uh, reinforce the wing so you're able to do things like loops and higher g-forces without snapping the wing. Real planes like real Cessnas that we've flown in have those supports on the wings and shocks. Yeah I know real planes that's why it looks like a real plane when it... Exactly yeah. It that's okay. Really you you say you don't like that stuff. I... I just don't like it because I'm not inexperienced. I'm not as experienced as I would like to be. Well, that's okay. That's why we're here. That's why we're flying I today. I know everybody feels like that. Okay, they always want to be better. I want to be better. Much better. There's so much I have to learn. If you think you're the best pilot out there. Leave a comment below. <laughs> no. There's always something. Yeah, you can always. There's something that. that you can always learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're flying this very beautifully. I would encourage you to try a roll when you're comfortable. 
something or a loop maybe probably a loop would be easier should i go higher no you're high enough oh. you could do it anywhere right there i'm so nervous you want to level the wing off <laughs> and then give it some throttle and pull back it can do just fine just uh oh, it's okay you just need to level the wing off before you do that <laughs> and it'll do perfect do it do it coming to us because the no oh, the wind no. is behind us so yeah that would be right there perfect oh go ahead do it do it look at it look at it Still going crooked. Oh, just a hair <laughs> that was good that was nice you can bring it down some now you're such a big plane you're a little speck on my screen here yeah that's how they always are Yeah, bring it in a little closer. You're pretty far. I did baton twirling for like 12 years or something. And I've always learned that you can do a trick and catch it and have an amazing day. You know, catch this one trick 50 times. That's a good day. And then the next day you can go and try to the same trick and not catch it at all. <laughs> and life just sucks that day. And, uh, Flying RC planes is a lot like that. It is a little, yeah. One day you're just terrible at it. And then the next day you can be really good. And the thing about RC is one bad day can scare you away from I, ever coming back out again. I've had uh, that Millennium Master giving me fits. <laughs> <laughs> I had the first flight. You guys have seen it. It was an awesome first flight. It was amazing. But then after that... After really, after we took it to Flight Fest, I just had the worst luck with it. Just I want to point something out so here. So I've though. been kind of nervous flying anything and everything since then. With this flight, I will say this, and you probably haven't even noticed it till just now. You are casually talking <laughs> while flying. You're not doing anything not crazy. Not very well. I'm not talking very well. Yeah. <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> But you are flying and talking, and to do that says that you're comfortable without even realizing you're comfortable with it. No, it's uh, we have a YouTube channel and someone has to say something. <laughs> well, that's true. But I find it pretty hard to fly a plane and carry a conversation at the same time. It's very hard to do. You want to practice a little landing? Mm -hmm. We do have a LiPo alarm in the plane right now, so she's good on the battery. Brighten that up for you guys. So far away. It's okay. You touched down perfectly. I would try to taxi it around and take off again. Just a hard rudder with a little elevator. And yeah, there you go. Okay. Now straighten it back out and take off again. It's too far away. I can't see it very well. Taxi it down closer. Yeah, it's okay. Taxi it closer. Use your rudder. That's how you steer on the ground. Look at me go. Yeah like a car what you don't want to do is go too fast because uh, then your rudder becomes pretty unusable once your wheels get off the ground when it's I not as off, i like to be behind it well go for it because this way i feel like if i mess up then i can fix go 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 air. keep going you're going great this is perfect go 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 i'm talking <sighs> i like to be behind it when i take off because if it starts to tilt or something orientation's easier easier yeah i get that your direction well go oh, left I to right you can do this there's no wind. Zero. <sighs> Beautifully done. A little more throttle. Nice. Great takeoff. I'd like you to do one more loop as you get a little higher because there's no wind and I think you can pull off a nice solid loop coming towards us maybe here you go perfect do it it's, still on, it's okay it's pretty okay good. it's okay it's pretty good must be doing something wrong over here and not realizing <clears> giving it oh stop that well uh stop that <laughs> <laughs> I went too high it's okay so maybe give it a little throttle and go nose down just a hair to pick up some speed and then pull back yeah. right so you were kind of almost stalling when you did your loop and that's why it fell off to the side just a little bit mm -hmm. so try again this time around and after this loop i'm going to reset the camera now do it 
And look how much tighter that was. Yeah, very good. And then when you're coming out of a loop, you can ease off on the juice yeah, too. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I'm going to reset the camera now. And we're back. The reason I have to do that is because this camera will only film for a certain amount of time before it turns itself off. So I wanted to do that when I had control over it. Well, the daughter has to be getting loud. We do have the lipo alarm in there. So I think you're flying it fairly docile and it's going to have a longer flight time than mine. Plus you have a brand new battery oh. in your plane and it is an awesome battery. We're flying on three cells, 2200 milliamp, and that's about the biggest recommended size battery for this plane. I don't know if it can handle four cell. It's a 40 amp ESC. Maybe it could if you didn't juice it full throttle the whole time. I've got my flaps working, but they are working very, very well. And the, at the first angle, they drop down to about 45 degrees. And at the second switch, they're about a 90 degree. So I need to play around on my transmitter and make those much less extreme. <laughs> They're really bad. <laughs> Abby, you're doing awesome. You're flying a really big, you know, good quality plane here. This isn't some Look at the sun on it. piece of junk or anything. This is a very nice plane. The sun just came back out. Yeah, it looks minute. great. Yeah, feels good out. It's about to go down the hill. Before Abby took off, there were about... I don't know, 15 people here <laughs> flying stuff, and then they all just left all at once. And so Abby well, said, okay, I knew time that to fly. was going to happen anyway, so I was kind of waiting around for it. <laughs> the funny thing is, and I don't, and I can relate to this, you get a little nervous flying around people here at the field. Even though we know thousands of people it's will watch this video, it's not the same, is it? Because mm -hmm. if we really want to, you crash bad enough, we could just, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> We don't do that. We don't do that. If we have a bad we crash, really it's, you guys get to see it. A couple of our Patreon supporters. It always seems so, seen like that. when we do have bad crashes, the camera's not, not on. Not yeah. Yeah, we had one of those earlier today, didn't we, Nate? Ah, uh, yeah, me. <laughs> okay, so get this. My lipo <laughs> alarm, right? Abby says, "I hate those stupid things. They don't work very well." Well, if you have good batteries, they work really well. So I charged one of my older batteries. It's probably three years old now, and I've flown a thousand times on it. Great battery. And uh, this is the first time using it this year. I did storage charge it, but when I charged it today to fly this, as soon as I started taxiing, the alarm went off. Abby said, that stupid LiPo alarm is broken. Take it out and fly. I said, okay, I can probably fly for a few minutes. It's an old battery. Let's just have some fun with it. And so I started to take off, and sure enough, I got about 10 feet off the air, or off the ground, I mean, 10 feet in the air, I meant to say. Good loop, Abby. And uh, the plane just fell out of the sky. I totally <laughs> lost it. <laughs> landed upside down. Landed upside down. And it was this plane, which speaks for its durability because... It wasn't very high. You said uh, 15 feet. I said 10. Uh, I don't think Maybe, did I say 10? I think I said 10. I don't know if it was that high. But still, it was pretty bad, but funny. <laughs> That's like, that kind of stuff happens to us all the time. Though. Nathan's like, Abby, don't crash it. And then he'll crash it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, the battery's fine. And it's not fine. <laughs> Isn't this such an awesome day to be flying? Yeah. There's so, like no end now. So, this is probably, I would say, maybe the fifth or sixth plane you've ever even had your hands on the controls, right? And that might be stretching it. Maybe not even that many. What do you think? Somewhere around five or six, roughly? Yeah. Um, I guess. I have no idea. Knowing Maybe that, more. you think a little bit more? Maybe. Okay. I just don't fly very often. No, but um, for limited flight experience and limited different planes experience, what do you think about this? Maybe compared to some of the others you've flown. I like the size of this because of orientation. Mm -hmm, me too. But it's definitely not like as agile as my Millennium Master. No. The Millennium Master, I think I did like 15 loops in a row on it one day. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that I ever made it to YouTube. I don't think we filmed that, but uh, it's the, it's really docile to fly. I do, I do like how docile it is. I'm calling it a workhorse of the RC world, of the RC plane world. We're going to use it to tow a plane later, a glider. I think I'm going to be the one. I don't... Would you rather fly this? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that Cherokee glider. 
Mm -hmm. Just because it's not as responsive, I guess. It's just underpowered. I guess. Uh, and, uh, but it's gonna, we're going to be gliding it without a motor at all. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, geez, I don't want to fly that. Yeah. Then you got to land it. Yeah. Yeah, you get one shot. <laughs> no, I don't want to. You can fly that. Hmm. No way. That's fine. You can have this one and uh, tow me up. Oh, my gosh. So I have to tow it? How about we switch? <laughs> I tow it up. I release switch. it. And then I take the glider. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe I should have the glider. Uh, it's okay. Uh, That's not bad. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> Those wheels bad. <laughs> yeah, they do. Very nice. I think we're done. Yeah. Well, I'm not done. I'm going to fly the Tundra more. I know I know we're pushing like a 15, 16 minute flight here, so we don't want to keep everyone forever. I just thought, I was, uh, I thought I'd try an approach, and it wasn't too bad, so. You did great. I think we'll call it a day. Well, a let's day. hear, get your, get your plane, and let's take a closer look here. Tell us what you think. It flew extremely well. Uh, I'm really surprised at like how pretty of a flyer this is. It looks so good in the air and it looks so realistic. If you like Cessna or, or Bush planes, I mean this looks so realistic. So much like those. I know this plane has been on the market for a while and we're just now getting it, but it's been on the market for a while because it's a really, really good plane. There's a reason for that. Yeah. I think this thing's going to be around for a while. As a matter of fact, just shortly after we got this, they made some different colored versions of this. Makes me kind of want one, doesn't it you? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Not to give away anything. <laughs> but I am super excited that I was able to fly this. I'm really looking forward to continuing to push my pilot skills with this plane. Oh, it just, it was really laid back to fly and i really enjoyed that because i was not stressed the only thing that stressed me out was the first takeoff that was kind of scary it's always scary though, it is plane. yeah uh but it did well mm -hmm. i'm i am honestly really surprised at this plane and also m with my skill levels how i was able to fly this plane so if you're looking for a semi beginner plane with no flight stabilization I would definitely recommend this plane because it is beautiful. <laughs> if you would like to check out this Hobby King Tundra plane, we'll have the Hobby King link down in the description box below. So be sure to check out that. Also, if you like seeing our field on camera today, we are having a fun fly the weekend of April 21st. So you can come down to Ashland, Kentucky and hang out with us for the weekend and get to fly at our very own home field and experience Death Valley for yourself. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video and we hope to see you at our fun fly. Bye!